Hello friends, welcome to SQL PL SQL concept video series. So in this video, we'll see another interesting concept called Oracle Package Initialization Block or sometimes we'll call this as like a one-time only procedure. So before we start understanding this concept, let us first understand few basic information about the PL SQL block then so that our understanding with respect to this concept will be much easier. So here is a simple PL SQL block structure. Of course, this is the structure we'll be using whenever we create a procedure function or trigger. That means uh, the block should have a header. In fact, this is an optional followed by the declaration section, which will start uh, typically with either is or an as keyword. And then there is a, uh, in fact, declaration is also, also an optional. If there is no variable to declare, then no need to have a declaration section followed by a mandatory execution section which will have the which will start with the begin keyword and there is an optional exception handling section if you are not handling the exception then the exception will be thrown back to the user or the uh, caller of the program then there is a mandatory keyword end right so when when we create any procedure or function definitely we'll be following this structure only in fact if we if we just want to map it here so this is all about the header section so this is all about the declaration part. So this section that is between begin and the exception keyword will be the execution section. Same way from exception keyword till end. So this will form the exception section. So in this case, uh, we can leave the header section and in fact, we can leave the exception also. So the execution section is a mandatory if you want to create a write a, a block. In case of anonymous block, we will not have this header section. So the mandatory block should have the minimum of a begin followed by one PL SQL statement followed by end. So the begin and end keywords are mandatory whenever we write a PL SQL block. Suppose now if I say there is one place where we will be writing a PL SQL block which will have only the begin keyword and it will not have an end keyword. Will you believe me? Yes, there is one place where we'll be writing like this and that is called the initialization section which will have only the begin keyword and it will not have any end keyword. So before we see the initialization block, let us see one simple package so that our understanding with respect to the initialization block will be much better. So here is a simple PL SQL uh, package I have created. As you can see, uh, I'm just creating a package called my underscore pack one which just have only one variable declared and I'm just having one procedure called print and within this print procedure I'm just printing the value of the variable so when we create this package and we try to call this print by default it will print the null so first we'll see uh, uh, first we'll try to create this package then we'll see this output then we'll go ahead with our demo so I'm just creating the package here. So the package specification is created. The package body is also created. Now when I when I call this print procedure, execute my before that let me just say set server output on. Now when I say execute my pack one dot print, this will print the value of this variable. Of course, right now the value is null. Suppose if my requirement is Whenever I access this variable, it should have the number of employees working in that organization. That means this val variable should be loaded with the number of uh, some number. It can be from through a select statement or a computed value. If it is a simple hard coded value, we can in fact initialize as part of the variable declaration itself. But what I'm asking is some kind of computed uh, number. So in that case, we can use the package initialization block now let me so show you the package code so this is the package just now we created and we executed the print procedure so here is the the same package i just added one additional section here as you can see here i just added a section called at the end of the package which starts with the begin keyword and i just wrote some select statement but this particular block doesn't have any end keyword this block is called package initialization block or sometimes we'll call this as like one time only procedure. Okay, so there are a few rules to write this initialization block. It has to appear only at the end of the package body. Just before the end keyword here, you can write. The advantage of this particular block is that this block will get executed for the first time when you access 
any variable or the api of a package that means the moment you access the package this particular piece of code will get automatically called and do whatever the code you have written there uh, other than that it will not it will never get called in fact we cannot go and explicitly explicitly call this particular piece of code because this doesn't have any name but in a session that means the moment you connect to a session and you access any of this thing either you can call this variable or you can call the procedure or whatever it may be now first time when you access this package this particular piece of code will get executed okay now we will try to recreate this particular code uh, with this package initialization block then we'll see how it is behaving now i'm just recreating the package with the initialization block as you can see here in the package body i've just give the initialization section okay now both the spec and body are created so let me first disconnect from this session okay now i'm just connecting back to the session so now i am just executing the same code i'll put on now i'm just executing my package one dot print if you see now it's printing the number of employees equal to 14 though we have not explicitly called this particular code the first time when you access the package this piece of code will get automatically called so this is called the initialization block or one time only procedure okay then what is the use of this block is that uh, because many places we will never use this initialization block but there are few uses because of this initialization block one is like we can use this to pre-populate some of the variables exactly like this what i have showed here or we can use this to pre-populate some tables or we can use this block to truncate some log table or uh, for all these initialization related uh, logics, we can use this initialization block. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, SQL practical question, concept videos. If you have any questions, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. Thanks a lot for watching this video.